Good morning, everyone. I, I don't think you'll be put off by uh, these images of food waste uh, now that you've been alarmed by uh, intensive uh, uh, meat farming practices uh, earlier on. So I think we're on safe ground. Oops. OK, so just uh, a little, a little bit of background. I'm a researcher at the University of Nottingham, but I am fortunate to have uh, funding from the BBSRC under their FLIP scheme. So that's Flexible Interchange Programme. So, and that's allowed me to uh, be seconded into new food innovation for uh, a proportion of my time. Um, the purpose of, these, uh, of this scheme is to try and uh, get the two communities, the academic and uh, uh, commercial communities working more effectively together. So uh, here I am uh, doing my bit. So I'll uh, try and uh, just cover some definitions, uh, look at some of the generic uh, challenges and some examples of successful exploitation. And I'm going to be focusing on, on, on food use rather than other uses of, uh, of, of food waste. Uh, and our uh, developing thoughts on uh, business models that might be replicated, um, you know, maybe more efficiently in, in the future, and uh, you know how, how we uh, measure success to, to conclude. So, uh, food process uh, waste, and it's uh, okay. It's not waste. Uh, let, let's get away from that immediately. Let's try and uh, think of. Uh, of uh, side streams, side streams and, and co-streams rather than waste. Um, I'm not uh, going to be considering uh, the point uh, uh, when uh, products get into, into retail that's, uh, or, or domestic use, that's another story completely. So we're talking about uh, the process environment all the way back from uh, agri uh, production through to whatever uh, food manufacturing is carried out. And at each process step, There'll be some losses, some residuals uh, uh, appearing, and uh, we'll classify that as something we want to work with if uh, those side streams exit the factory environment uh, in a non-food capacity. Um, clearly, uh, a good company will uh, try and minimise uh, uh, those uh, residuals uh, through, through good, good practice, and uh, there will also be opportunities for... Uh, returning those residuals into other food products, so they never really uh, leave the food uh, uh, definition. Let's say now that we are talking about uh, um, residuals that are of a non-food uh, character, um, many challenges. Um, if these uh, streams may be intermittent. Um, it's more helpful if they're uh, con produced continuously or at least on a, on a sort of predictable basis. They're likely to have low stability um, and, and be biologically active, uh, um, could have high bulk, uh, and uh, also annoyingly might be uh, uh, high volume um, but, 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 uh, but very dilute. So um, problems right at the start, under understanding composition and makeup, and hence uh, value. It's worth uh, also considering that in some uh, process environments, um, pr production uh, results in, in, a, in a range of, uh, of co-streams of, of, of significant magnitude, where clearly some thought has to, be, has to go into uh, handling those, those co-streams uh, right at the start. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, fruit, uh, uh, pro uh, fruit juicing and, uh, and, and beer production. So out outlets will be um, uh, there for, for these, these streams. And uh, the question then remains, are, are we getting the best value? Are there better things to do with those, those co-streams? Uh, you know, uh, uh, are there issues with uh, relationships with people, with, with uh, uh, you know, outlets, um, um, you know, companies, or you know, in, 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 the, in the supply chain using those those co streams? There are uh, obviously uh, uh, alternatives for um, residues leaving the, the factory. Um, anaerobic digestion is. Uh, 
serious business, um, but uh, other you know food companies will also routinely uh, uh, send their, uh, their, their 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 residue streams to, uh, for animal feed or for composting, for example. But um, the, the, there's a, there's a quest, an interest certainly in uh, in uh, retaining in in uh, the, these uh, uh, streams uh, within the food use. Uh, uh, sort of area and uh, gaining high, higher value um, if, if uh, you know there's, there's, a, there's always a business case. Just to uh, try and set out a few uh, uh, sort of back of envelope uh, numbers if, if we have uh, let's say 2,000 <laughs> tonnes per annum potato waste uh, uh, being produced then we can recover the, uh, the starch and the fibre as food ingredients and we'll, you know, maybe we'll get something like 145k uh, per year ret return on that. Uh, potato is quite a good uh, uh, AD feedstock, so um, you know, estimating uh, uh, en energy uh, values, um, we, we could do even better uh, uh, by that route. Both of those uh, options are, are certainly better than sending the potato to uh, animal stock feed. And I, I, I'd be interested in, uh, in uh, any, any comments, but I, I would suspect that uh, uh, food, uh, the food side streams are going to composting, um, the, 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 uh, uh, the, there'd be uh, pretty much a sort of null return. So a quest to uh, uh, do something better with these side streams and we come up, uh, come up against um, uh, a number of uh, sort of uh, uh, risks. Um, traditionally if one is uh, developing uh, uh, new, uh, going, going into new developments you, you try not to do uh, both uh, market development and technology development at the same time. At the same time, we try not to move uh, diagonally across this space. But a food company uh, trying to do something uh, different with a, with a side stream may be faced with, with, with these issues, and uh, there may be a need to uh, to form partnerships or to to get help uh, in in in, uh, in 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 making progress. On the, uh, the technology side, um, although there are maybe uh, several sort of generic uh, process uh, approaches, there are many uh, variations and combinations. So, uh, you know, finding something that works for a particular side stream may be, may be challenging and, and certainly um, identifying technologies that are ready to use uh, uh, is also a challenge. Let's just cover a few uh, examples now, and, and these may uh, be so sort of uh, well sort of, you know, embedded in uh, uh, food, in, 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 in the sort of food story that people might not uh, uh, really sort of still think of, the, of, of these as, uh, the, these products as originating from, um, as, as uh, waste or side streams. But, uh, um, Fruit processing uh, results in uh, a, a pulp side stream. Um, industrial uh, fruit processing has been going on for uh, for many years, and uh, it's been uh, well. Uh, we have uh, uh, it's been appreciated that the uh, the the pulp is a, is a rich source of of, of, of fibre, and uh, that's tied in with. Uh, a, uh, an increasing sort of appreciation of the, of the importance of dietary fibre in food, in, 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 in food, and uh, uh, you know, moving into the, the 1990s, um, we see some very interesting developments in uh, in turning f uh, fruit pulp into some products which have uh, really quite uh, good technical properties, uh, especially in terms of uh, water holding, swelling and uh, therefore uh, effective uh, as, 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 as uh, fat starch placement uh, 
ingredients in, 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 in things like mayonnaise. So a demonstrated uh, technical uh, performance. Um, another uh, interesting hist historical example that I've, uh, I've looked into, looked into, uh, betaine uh, from sugar beet. Um, sugar uh, from sugar beet is uh, produced in a biorefinery uh, operation. Um, betaine has been uh, known about as, as something that has uh, nutritional uh, and, and, and metabolic uh, function um, for, for a number of years. Uh, so uh, it's uh, proved uh, uh, worthwhile to uh, extract the betaine from uh, a, a spent, uh, uh, well, it's the sort of the uncrystallized uh, sort of syrup residue from uh, uh, sugar production, uh, uh, extract the betaine from that, and uh, that uh, then is a, is, is a valuable uh, co-product. So this is the Whittington uh, uh, plant here. Uh, uh, um, uh, this, this story is fairly well known, but I think it's, uh, it's quite a nice illustration of how uh, valuable co-streams can be uh, uh, identified and uh, brought to market. Um, Beta-glucan beta from uh, brewers spent yeast. Uh, yeast has been used since time immemorial in, uh, in food and drink. And uh, we, uh, it, it's, it's uh, sort of uh, in more recent times that uh, it, it's, 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 uh, it's understood that the, the uh, this, the the beta-glucan polysaccharides in the in the in the fungal cell wall have uh, nutritional and and uh, and well-being uh, 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 pro <coughs> properties, and uh, it's possible to extract uh, glucans uh, uh, by by various uh, sequential techniques, and I think uh, there are uh, sub, you know substan substantiated claims. Um, that uh, beta glucans are uh, effective in, 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 in all manner of, uh, um, uh, you know, for, for, for a range of sort of, uh, um, yeah, in, in, in a range of situations. My last uh, example, um, well known to people, I'm sure, uh, whey protein from, uh, from dairy waste. Um, it was the, the JL, the craft organisation that uh, originally started uh, uh, producing a, a whey product from uh, um, this, uh, this uh, uh, waste uh, uh, fraction. Um, here's the uh, 1930s uh, patent, uh, which uh, states that the disposal of whey which is a byproduct in manufacturing operations such as the making of cheese and casing has long been a serious problem for manufacturing establish, establish, establishments on account of the stench which is caused by the way within a very short time after its production and the undesirable pollution of the rivers and other streams where this byproduct is discharged into neighboring streams so uh, you know, a significant environmental drive to, to do something about this stream. And it, as we all know, it's been a, uh, a major success story. But I think it's worth making the point that uh, this has been underpinned by extensive and long-term R&D commitment, paralleled with technology development in, in separation technologies and a, um, um, a, a continuous um, marketing effort, um, you know, exploring applications uh, uh, and developing demand. So, uh, what are the common features? Well, you start off with a, with a stream uh, that you can't ignore, that, that you have to do, do something with. Um, these success stories that I've uh, uh, identified uh, are, uh, uh, you know, around uh, companies that uh, and, and uh, um, 
uh, technologies, uh, of, um, situ situations where uh, there's already uh, uh, a good experience of, uh, of uh, process technologies and where there is a uh, you know, the, the uh, products which um, one is interested in have a, have a sort of well understood uh, um, uh, uh, um, you know, well understood benefit and, and there's an, an established demand. Long term R&D commitment and investment uh, uh, and, and in marketing uh, um, you know, significant uh, uh, factors as well. And if one is going to introduce technologies in order to um, do something useful with, with uh, these uh, residual streams, these co-streams, you've got to use clean technologies. It's no, no use uh, sort of undoing all the good work. So um, can we think of a, uh, uh, you know, development uh, route, um, uh, development models that which, we, which we can replicate. So I've been yeah, th thinking this through, um, although the challenges seem quite uh, significant in, uh, in, in, in dealing with these awkward uh, uh, residue streams, one thing that uh, uh, you will have going for you is that there are, there are, uh, there are known constraints. Um, a, you know, I think that is the, the, the place to start. A company will identify a pile of something, a flow of something that it has to deal with. Uh, and it will know how much, um, what the availability of that, that stream is, and will be able to find out what's in that stream uh, down to the necessary detail to, to, to make uh, choices and decisions. Uh, so with those constraints and that, uh, that background, then uh, the, you know, understanding the commercial landscape uh, um, is, uh, is a reasonable prospect, the, the likely value uh, and, and, and uh, uh, costs, um, where, the, where the market is going and what sort of competition and, and IP um, is out there. So that's, that's, you know, do your homework, I suppose, is the message. Uh, and uh, get all that, uh, get, you know, get, get that information before you make a start on, on any sort of development pathway. In terms of um, technologies to, uh, to handle uh, these uh, residue streams, um, although I er earlier on identified uh, some generic uh, uh, sort of uh, processes, uh, I think in reality what we're, what we're finding is that... Um, any uh, uh, stream um, requires um, handling through a number of process steps which start with something simple, could, could be just milling or, uh, or pressing, and uh, you, you move uh, along this, uh, this pathway uh, getting to, to ever more sophisticated processing steps uh, as, I, as I'm mapping out here. So any company with a, with a waste stream, with a, with a side stream, I use the word waste there, I didn't, didn't mean to, um, will make this journey and will uh, probably start at the, the bottom left and will move up to some position uh, and, and uh, decide that's, that's where we need to be to, uh, uh, to deliver the product material that, we're, uh, that we want. So, so mapped against that, is some sort of value pathway. Um, as you increase the technological sophistication, then you, you should hope that you are going to uh, obtain more value from the, from the, the products uh, that, you, that, you are, that you are making. Of, of course, otherwise it's just not, not worthwhile. But again, starting simple, uh, especially if uh, a company <coughs> has limited experience of uh, of, of new, new processing or, you know, processing technologies or, yeah, I suppose, yes, um, new processing technologies that might be required to, uh, to, to sort of deal with uh, um, a, an, 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 an identified uh, residue stream. So start simple, uh, gain the know-how and, and move up uh, along this, this pathway um, and uh, try and have a, a sort of 
a, a business strategy um, that, that allows this, this movement, uh, the, the commitment to, to sort of uh, achieve this, this movement over time, protecting innovations, of course, as they, as they come up, as one, uh, one moves along. So to, uh, to try and uh, uh, wrap up, um, how do we uh, uh, decide whether we're being successful or not, um, achieve, achieving what we want? So I've got a different uh, uh, primary diagram here. But uh, yeah, I guess it sort of uh, fits in with what we've been uh, hear, hearing over the last two talks. Um, there are clearly uh, straightforward commercial um, justifications in, in uh, getting better value, uh, doing something uh, more, more useful with a side stream. Uh, but uh, there, are, there are other benefits and uh, corporate identity is, is a very important uh, um, uh, sort of concept. So an improved nutritional story, uh, being innovative, um, delivering uh, efficiencies, that is all extremely good news uh, on, on the corporate side. And hopefully, um, you know, underpinning and uh, linking through uh, uh, is a, a desire to, 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 be, to be more sustainable and to, uh, to do something of, of wider benefit. So food utilisation, reduced environmental impact and the wider sort of uh, prospects for economic development, um, you know, um, being, being innovative, um, introducing uh, alternative technologies and uh, you know, moving the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the business sector forwards. So that's my, my last slide. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, if anybody has a large pile of, uh, of uh, chopped uh, vegetable material, uh, uh, be very happy to talk to uh, anybody who want, one is wondering what to do with it. Uh, so, uh, you know, all, all the best with your, um, your, your development plans. Thank you. Problems with this is the, is the for the small company is the cost of distribution and also for the food industry of putting it into landfill and places like that. Now you've done it on a very big scale, but all the SMEs who have involved with food for them to dispose of these things is very expensive. A on transportation, and then when you get to the landfill, the council is now charging you. So is it a case of having small biomass uh, on site? Yes. Um there is, there is certainly a question of scale. Um, uh, you know, the economics uh, look much better if, if you have a, a, la a large concern. So, um, small, smaller uh, or you know, medium-sized companies will have to, to sort of join forces in some way, and, and there will have to be some sort of uh, you know, sort of integration with other other players to, to sort of uh, you know do, do the do the best job with that with their side streams. Um, but I, I don't know. I mean, are, are, is food still being dumped to landfill from from the factory? Okay, you know, for, from from the you know the household maybe. But you know, is that actually still happening? Yeah, very much so. The small companies. We've got a factory of hundred thousand square feet, and we're still going down that route because of the cost of transport. And and composting or or uh, sort of mo mo moving to a you know to, to a, a you know a. A regional um, AD facility. That's not. That's not a possibility. They're not there. They're not in Wales. Right. Okay. So, some <laughs> some interesting opportunities there then. <laughs> Just as a, as a follow up to, to this, right to for the mic. Oh, Hi, uh, Jake Norman from OAL. Um, I was just interested in, because it's quite business centric in the sense of um, a business can take these streams and, and develop their own value from it. Mm. I think some of the challenges around that would be they would say it's not our core business yeah. and so it's not adding value. So is there that gap and a, a new startups exploiting those areas to say, we'll come and take your ways, we can take it from all these different types of companies and generate those products. Is that a very much a growing industry? That that's got to be a sensible way to go. Yes, um, you, know, you know, I tried to make the point that uh, companies may find it very uncomfortable, uh, or, or you know, it may be really sort of out of their comfort zone 
to uh, to do something uh, different with their with their side streams. So you've got to make partnerships, and if that's someone uh, another business who who you know w would would want to take that that stream and uh, and uh, process it on themselves, then that's an excellent way of, uh, of progressing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. And, uh,